as we gorge ourselves on stuffing. There will be a couple of teams hoping to get themselves into the NFC playoff picture with a little more certainty. We're going to break down all of those here, Eric. Let's start with the two divisions that are a little more sewn up. That's the West and the South. Yeah, there isn't a simulation where the Rams don't make the playoffs here. So, and, and almost the same thing for New Orleans here. Both of them over a 97% chance to win their division. Those two divisions are basically done for. However, they are jockeying for the one seed. Because the Rams have an easier schedule moving forward, we actually have them with more projected wins, but the most likely outcome is that they end up with the same amount of wins, and hence, by virtue of the tiebreaker, New Orleans will get that uh, you know, coveted one seed. We talked about this uh, last week. Who do we think is going to be the best team in the NFL after this week? You went with the Saints. I went with the Rams. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I think the Rams are the best, but as you said, that likely outcome is that they go to New Orleans should they make it uh, to the championship game. So it'll be interesting to see, right? That game was a real tale of two halves. And if it hadn't been for a couple of bad breaks yep. for the Rams, I think the Rams have a really good shot at winning that game. So it will be very interesting to monitor those. There are some divisions not quite locked up, though. The North and the East, their own different kinds of crazy. Let's start with the North and the Chicago Bears. Yeah, the Chicago Bears played a pretty impressive game. Mitch Trubisky notwithstanding on Sunday night against the Vikings. Very good defensively, forcing turnovers, using Khalil Mack to the best of his ability. Akeem Hicks, really good on the inside there. They're the favorites here at over, you know, basically 64% of the time winning that division in our simulations. The Vikings, on the other hand, you know, again, only about a 31% chance to win that division. The Packers kind of out of it at this point. But by virtue of Carolina losing, uh, you know, Philadelphia, Philadelphia losing. Some, some things went their way uh, this week, and the Vikings are basically a 2-3 and three proposition to make the playoffs out of the NFC, even if they don't uh, repeat as NFC North champions. Yeah, that game was really interesting between Minnesota and Chicago, because had Minnesota won, they were in the driver's seat yeah. with Chicago coming to them Week 17. Yeah. The loss is bad, but it doesn't quite knock them out because they've still got an opportunity with Chicago coming their way in Week 17. The problem is that tougher schedule is going to make it a much higher hurdle to climb. The interesting thing about the Bears, as you mentioned, Trubisky was actually not that impressive. Had a couple of picks, had an even worse throw that should have been housed that was not by Xavier Rhodes. Three turnover-worthy plays tied his most for uh, this season. So there are some question marks there with the Bears, certainly, yep. as we know in 2018, where offense happens to win more games than defense. Okay, let's go to the East here. Uh, let's start off with this. The Giants, they have a shot? No. Okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, the Redskins now with a new quarterback in Colt McCoy, actually two new ones. Mark Sanchez <laughs> added to the fold. Got me very excited. They are the odds on favorite, right, at about 60% to win, even with this kind of hodgepodge of quarterback going on there. But Thanksgiving, the Cowboys and the Redskins in Dallas, pretty big game. Yeah, it's huge, right? So we, as you said, Washington about 60%. If they win on the road in Thanksgiving, they have, they're have they basically in the driver's seat. They would have a two-game lead over uh, over the Dallas Cowboys with a 2-0, to zero, you know, basically head-to-head -head record. So they would basically eliminate Dallas from the, you know, that, the contention there. Philadelphia 4-6 and six right now. They do get to face Washington twice. But again, the probability of them winning that game, you know, both those games is pretty low. So this is a huge game for Washington. Uh, their chances of w making the playoffs are only 9% higher than their chance to win the division. So it really is division or bust, given the fact that we have Carolina, we have Seattle, those types of teams, Green Bay, below them uh, in the standings. Of course, if you want to use that nugget to profit, you want to head to mybookie.ag, even if it's not a Thanksgiving football game, maybe it's Tiger Phil the day after, or some random, you know, NBA basketball game that you happen to pop on while you're trying to ignore your uncle, head to mybookie.ag. They will get you all set up and good to go. Use promo code PFF to get a dollar for dollar match on your first deposit. And the great thing is they have in-game live betting. So in the middle of the game, you still have to be paying attention. You got to ignore the people around you. They make it possible. PFF plus mybookie.ag. You play, you win, you get paid. All right, the wild card. It's really the exciting conversation here because so much up in the air, really down to the bitter end. It seems like Seattle has set themselves up nicely to get into the wild card. Them and Carolina basically with an equal chance 
of getting to the wild card. So that sets up Seattle, Carolina this week is pretty exciting. Yeah, and the, the interesting thing is both of them are under 50% to make the playoffs because it is so jumbled with Minnesota kind of the, that edge. So this game in Carolina is a huge one uh, for both Seattle and Carolina. Carolina is just a couple plays away from being, you know, four and six, three and seven this year. And But at si- sitting at six and four, I think they were in the driver's seat until losing by one because, you know, they did the analytics thing and went for two uh, against the Lions uh, last week. So, I don't know. Seattle Seattle looks to be sort of trending in the right direction. I think they probably have the better quarterback here, a better uh, supporting cast than people think. So, that'll be a really interesting game with a lot of playoff leverage uh, this weekend. Yeah, and then should Seattle win or lose, they then play Minnesota yep. later on this season. They also have Kansas City left. If Kansas City is playing for something, that game all of a yeah. sudden could go from, you know, potentially a pushover to not quite so much. So a lot still to be decided in the uh, in the NFC, especially from a wild card perspective. The East, though, seems to be a division or bust for most of those. Or you know, if you're the Giants, bust. Anything is possible. For more, head to ProFootballFocus.com and of course subscribe to the PFF forecast.